I am at a TA in Buckeye, Arizona. Actually, I don't know if it's Tonopah, Arizona. It's like right in the border. But uh, with all the truck stops here in Arizona, especially in the Phoenix area, you can't, it's hard to find uh, uh, parking for your uh, 10 hour reset. And then our uh, operating center right now in Phoenix has gotten so crowded. I don't, they've got to get rid of some of those trailers. It is a madhouse over there trying to park. And so uh, it's, you, you'll get lucky if you can find parking for your 10 hour over there. So it's, it's challenging. Um, anyway, so this place here has tons of parking, but the drawback is, is there's no shower. It's really far away. You have to walk for a while to get to the facilities. They do have a black bear diner where I'm going to eat tonight. So uh, that's cool. Um, all the meal prep that I did, I already finished off all my uh, corned beef hash and my uh, Chinese food that, that I made. Anyway, yep, Wednesday night at a TA parking lot. What's going on, my people? So uh, this week was a little bit uneventful. We had a situation where it started off kind of strong, but then as the week went on, there were too many loads for the day cab drivers to fulfill in Phoenix. So uh, when we were down there, they went ahead and gave us a few loads uh, to do locally. That kind of disrupted the flow uh, of, of my week and the pay itself suffered because of it. Also, I had to schedule a maintenance for my truck and sometimes scheduling those things could take a week or two and you could be out for like a day or two. Uh, they'll give you a loaner or you'll have to sit out without working for a couple of days. It's kind of annoying. So um, during this time when I was in Phoenix doing the local runs, my DTL, the driver training leader, uh, went ahead and scheduled a service maintenance for my truck in Phoenix in short notice. So uh, it, it worked out for me because that was kind of looming over my head. I only had a couple of weeks to uh, get that done and uh, I didn't want to be out a couple days but while I was doing these short runs there was a gap he went ahead and fitted me in so my uh, truck could get worked on so that worked out but in terms of miles it wasn't it wasn't pretty it was probably like 1800 or so it wasn't that good and so uh, um, with the disruptions and it happens some weeks are gonna be crummy you know and this week was crummy um, now I went back and forth mostly I hung out in Phoenix most of the time but I think I started off the week going up to uh, Stockton and coming back down so uh, it was good driving uh, I avoided the rain uh, there was a big storm that hit Southern California on Friday Thursday to Friday and uh, I, I think it dumped a lot uh, some places it was snowing hailing you know so in regards to my uh, pay uh, if you saw my video uh, from last week they shorted me about 450 500 miles on my pay um, we were bouncing this around back and forth with the uh, DTLs and uh, and me and uh, I gave them my logs, I gave them a copy of my logs and uh, uh, they looked at it and they couldn't seem to pinpoint where the problem was. And then so uh, I finally contacted payroll services and uh, when we went um, assignment by assignment, sure enough, one assignment was missing. So uh, there was a clerical error. I don't know at what level, but there was a clerical error and uh, they, they should get it fixed now. So they're gonna go ahead and hopefully add those uh, miles in for, uh, I'm hoping next week's pay. We'll see, you know, we'll see how that goes. But they did admit that there was something missing and uh, they're gonna correct it. So that's good. Which leads me to talk about the next topic. So I've I've learned quickly that in this trucking business, um, you have to you have to wear many different hats. You have to play many different roles. Uh, it is like having your own mini business. Now, uh, part of that is record keeping record keeping to save your butt record keeping to make sure nobody screws you over record keeping so that when there's a dispute um you can show and prove that uh you're okay or you're, you're in the right right or maybe you may be in the wrong i don't know so um there's a couple ways to go about doing this in the olden days back in the day we used to do what we call the uh, day planners weekly planners monthly planners uh and we would on each day uh write down log jot down you know um, everything that's important in this case uh, it would be all our assignment numbers and at Schneider they start with an ST they're called ST numbers um, so you write down all your assignment numbers and you want to probably write down your BOL numbers bill of lading numbers uh, any kind of important numbers that you would need for that specific load uh, you want to go ahead and write that down and um, and keep it with dates and times and pickup times drop off times wait times things like that, you know, you can log it. And that's what we would have done back in the day, okay? Now we're in the digital age and uh, we have these handy cell phones around. 
And so you can go ahead and log into your app and see your assignment and take a screenshot of it. Okay. And also, uh, if you want, you could pull it up on your tablet, use your phone and just take a picture of it, whatever suits your fancy. Right. Um, but that's, that's a quick way. And most of the cameras on your phones have a, a date and timestamp on it. So, um, so everything is recorded and you know exactly when you took that photo or when you took that screenshot. So it's, uh, it's convenient. And that way you're not sitting there messing with a bunch of, um, you know, notes and whatnot and, uh, you know, uh, writing stuff down because it takes time to write stuff down, uh, you know, and these are numbers that to be honest with you, you don't need to memorize. I mean, you, you know, some people, they sit there, they write it down, they memorize it and whatnot. But once you're done with that load, you move on, you move on, you know, you're not going to, this isn't going to be on a quiz or a test later. So <laughs> anyway, so, uh, you know, um, I went, I went ahead and started taking screenshots. Another thing too, especially for Schneider is that you have access to your, uh, logs, uh, when you were on duty, when you were off duty, when you were in your sleeper, uh, when you were driving, how many miles you drove, you have an option, uh, to go into, um, your tablet and go ahead and email yourself your working logs, your work logs, right? So uh, uh, when you get that email, it's a PDF file, and inside that PDF file, it'll show you all the locations where you had transitions in your workflow. So if you went from off duty to on duty, if you went um, if you went from uh, yard move to driving, it'll time stamp it and it'll date stamp it. Also, it'll also do a location stamp where that occurred. And then there there's also a big chunk of information uh, on top with a summary of each day. So uh, when you look at the summary of each day, it'll show you all your assignment numbers, ST numbers that were involved on that day. And then it'll also show you how many miles you drove, right? And it'll show you, uh, you know, all the details that's pertinent. So that gives you a record of everything that you've been doing um, throughout the, you know, every day and throughout the weeks, right? And then um, I think when you download for, for Schneider, when we download that file, the most I think you can do is one month at a time. So you just go back from as, as far as you can remember and just, you know download those just to you know you know you never know you may need to reconcile uh, numbers later on you know uh, and uh, you need to keep that record and downloading that is you know takes like a minute or two or two you know it doesn't take that much time and you keep it in your file keep it on your computer they'll email it to you right when you download it it, it's, it actually says email it to yourself and you email it to yourself right and you email that file and uh, or, or those files and keep it handy so when you have a discrepancy or if you notice that something's off then you can go ahead and you know state your case and you have proof right um, and this is a this is basically a compilation of just your uh, daily logs that you have as a driver you know on duty off duty driving whatnot you know so this is all at your fingertips you know uh, it's all digital so you can click click tap tap on your tablet and uh, you can get all this information I would suggest that you get proactive with this stuff because you never know when, you know, sometimes that you never know. I, I don't know. Some companies out there may have uh, malicious intent, but um, sometimes it's just clerical error, human error. Some errors happen, you know, even, you know, we make errors as drivers from time to time, right? Bad judgment calls and things like that or errors, you know, um, and you need to have the paperwork or the digital copies to back you up. That's my uh, message to you today. If anything, Get proactive with keeping your records, keeping your logs, and uh, being being proactive. Now, also your bill of lading, your bill of lading. You know, every time you uh, make a delivery, and one of the cool things about being with my training engineer when I was uh, when I was just finishing my orientation and then was on the road for the first time with the Schneider truck, um, he he showed me that hey, you know what? It's not rocket science. The glove compartment right above your head. Just use that as your uh, file cabinet, basically. And in order, you just put your bill of ladings one on top of the other. And it's all in date order, right? And uh, uh, at a certain time, you probably want to empty that out. And then um, use that use that as your filing system. And uh, it's, it's not rocket science. It's really basic and it works. And anytime I need to look through that, I pull that out and I look through whatever dates I need to find and whatnot. And sometimes Schneider will say, hey... We didn't. We don't have a good copy or a good record, or we didn't. We don't have a, a, any record of B O L X Y Z, right? B O L uh, this date, and then uh, they would like you to send it over. So you need to keep those. I think you need to keep those records for at least ninety days or something. So uh, you know, it's probably a good idea to keep it for longer. You know, take it home and just put it in a file cabinet or whatnot. But uh, that's kind of like my take. What I wanted to talk about in terms of record keeping. You know, I think it'll help you out. You know, I'm not telling you you have to do it, but you know, from my experience so far. 
you need to cover your butt in this case, right? In a big company like this, it's, it's not one person taking care of you. It's not like one manager's got your back. You know, they've got your your DTLs have you know 20 to 40 people, 50 people sometimes under them that they're thinking about. So they're not gonna sit there and know every detail about you know your problem. You know, in most cases, if you have a payroll problem, they're gonna say, hey. Uh, you know, I'll look into it, but go ahead and reach out to payroll services or, you know, like, and then uh, uh, we, I had a situation where the company said that, oh, I, I uh, violated an 11 hour and 14 hour clock on one day. And, uh, and I was like, that's crazy. So I went ahead and pulled out my logs, sent it over to them. And then uh, they looked at it and they go, oh, uh, there must have been a glitch uh, in the system with daylight savings. You don't have a violation, you know? And it's just weird things like that. You know, if you don't have your records, you know, you can get in trouble for nothing and it's not even your fault, right? Or you can get short paid when you when you should get paid the right amount. So you have to be proactive with this or I encourage you to be proactive with this because, you know, um, you have to take care of yourself, right? Because <laughs> people aren't really necessarily out there thinking, oh, we got to take care of Dave, we got to take care of Dave. But on a note, um, on another note, um, when I was doing some of those short deliveries in Phoenix, my uh, driver training leader, my DTL, Who's based out of Phoenix actually uh, told me uh, thank you and he said I was an awesome driver and he actually gave me accolades which is rare in such a big company right for somebody to actually give you some kind of praise and uh, he gave me a $10 uh, pilot uh, gift uh, certificate he says you know it's not much but at least it's something and that's what he could do which I appreciated you know it's and I could care less about the $10 it's just more more the thought and and actually somebody acknowledging you and it's it's kind of cool so uh, you know, so that was uh, my week 11. Was it week 11? Yeah, that was my week 11. It's a mixed bag, right? Yeah, I, I wish I could have gotten more miles. I wanted to do uh, the 25. And also, like, some of you guys are uh, in the comments saying OTR, OTR. I'm not OTR. I'm a regional dedicated. Uh, so um, I don't have, I'm not going to be getting 3,000 miles and whatnot. You know, I know that the, the a lot of the OTR guys get 3,000 miles. But um, one, the things that I do get is, uh, um, you know, I don't have to wait for the two hours for detention pay. As soon as I uh, get to a location, I go uh, on duty uh, um, yard move and all of a sudden I'm getting paid uh, for waiting and, and doing the old unloading or loading and everything else. So um, I get that pay and then I also get uh, uh, per uh, shipment pay too. And so it's a different, you know, every pay structure is different. So sometimes people think, oh, OTR, you're, dude, your miles suck, you know, you're, you're not getting enough miles. No. So when I talk about my particular situation at 2,000 miles or hopefully getting to 2,500 miles and above, I get other pay too on top of the miles uh, per uh, mile pay, you know? You know, I, I don't really want to talk too much in detail about pay, but hopefully it helps you guys, you know? Um, and uh, every, every account, every uh, job description is slightly different from the other, you know? It's not like a cookie cutter where everybody's the same, it's not. You know, depending on the experience, depending on the, uh, the account, whether it's dedicated, regional, over the road, or, um, you know, local, intermodal, you know, there's so many different things. And, and, and at the same time, there's some that, you know, you have to unload too. So, you know, doing live unloads by, you know, physically, you know, yourself. So, um, yeah, but that's, that's kind of like what's, what's going on with me. Thank you for all your support for the last uh, 11 weeks of driving, plus the videos prior that I did for training. And uh, hopefully I will catch you next time. I'll keep you guys posted on how things are going. And peace. Have a great week. I will catch you later. Cheers.